Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to House of Iron 4. Ah, Sinatra Kiss to Mexico. Okay, right, we have 21 subs here. So, let's give you a commander. Ernesto Wall. At your service. Combo rating. Straight up, Florida coast. Do it. Just kill anyone you see who is an enemy who you can take on and beat. Uh, also, I've pulled off a load of units from some of the islands over here. They don't really seem to be in threat anymore. So we're just going to pull a load of the people off, and uh, we should get another about six people from that. Uh, other than that, we're doing our invasions of the Philippines, which are nearly done. And, most importantly, we're actually beginning to invade Australia. Um, also down here. New Guinea will be ours. Gulf of Carpathia and Coral. Okay, we take the Bismarck Sea off. One more day. Do it. Now, if they aren't opposed to the landing, they should be okay. Ooh, hello! Now, we're beginning to be opposed, including my tanks. Speaking of which, how's our tank production doing? Yeah, Could be better. Let's start rolling out some navs and some fighters, even though they're only tier 1s. It'll get the experience going. Do we not have fighters? We only got the interwar fighter? Dear God! It's terrible. Tone down a little bit there, and a little bit there. Oh, and there we have our fighter. Well, what did I say? Um, how much do we need to tone down? There we go. I should do it. Right, research slots available. 50% discount for Fighter 2. Seems like a good bet. Now. Orange. Join here. We need to buff this because uh, they are they're putting up a fight. Quite frankly, it's... Uh, Actually, becoming a proper fight now in uh, Australia. Now, hopefully, we've pulled people away from here. Because if we can get our motorized in here and just quickly run them forwards. Oh, hello! Right, this purple is now. Able to take on the world. And by the world, I mainly mean a good chunk of New Guinea. Be aggressive about it. Do it. Go. Be free. You can attack from the other side. Ooh. Not great. Okay. What are the reinforcements there soon? Then we'll see what's not great. In the meantime, I am going to give them four more units. Run down the coast and try and grab another port there. I might actually be able to pull this off. Right, you go here. Right, now you're actually all connected, I can just give you a proper order. Edit. Be aggressive. 
Let's make you super pink because I clicked on that. I didn't mean to, but sure. And then offensive line. Do it. Ha 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 ha. What's your national unity, by the way? 85. Ah, that's pretty tough, actually. Australia, why won't you give in? You know you want to. Oh, hello. Someone's actually here to fight us. Odd feeling. I'm too used to being unopposed. So we declare war against Afghanistan. Historically, that never goes wrong. Turkey joins me to Mores, which is the Polish faction, which is uh, an interesting choice. To be fair, now um, Russia is going to be surrounded by Afghanistan. Joins me to Mores. Poland, are you fighting Russia? No. So Turkey and Afghanistan are in the same faction, fighting Russia. Poland is in the same faction and isn't fighting Russia. And when they do, that'll be another front on Russia. And Russia can't really deal with Turkey right now. I mean, they are winning, but only just. Interesting. Okay. The downside about coming back here is it doesn't look massively different being green, because there's a lot of green down here originally anyway. Which is a shame. Hungary capitulated. Ooh. That is a mess. But Poland is doing well. Go Poland. Let's try and hit Sydney if we can in Canberra. And then we'll just make a sprint for Melbourne. If we get those, actually, they might capitulate. Even at 85%, because I think those are the only important places in the entire of Australia. Sorry, Perth. Nobody likes you. I've just offended, like, all my demographic in Perth. It's fine. I'm sure they understand. To be fair, Perth don't like uh, camera. Camera don't like Perth. No one likes Sydney. We're all good. Uh, it's time to slow down now. Right. I believe it's time to punch through and connect. Also, we've got three dockyards. Huzzah! I love having three dockyards. It's like Christmas has come early. Yay! Thank you, Bobby. Uh, we're just going to go for an extra heavy cruiser because they're a fighty ship at the moment. Okay, what do we need in sufficient resources? We have more chromium needed. Okay. We can cancel our rubber imports. We've got a massive surplus now. Oh, we might get Melbourne. You go for Adelaide. If you can get Adelaide, that'd be more. Dear God, what are we meant to grab now? Iraq, uh, Russia declare war in Iraq. Iraq joins Mina Mores. Poland and the Middle East. Well-known, strong historical allies right there. Interesting choice. Okay, how we do... It's a little bit of a mess, I'll be honest. Okay, um... Do that? Be super aggressive about it? Military youth. Ah, oh, there we go. Almost half a mil now. A lot better. Parrot militarism doesn't really give me much. 
Uh, just decreases the division training time, so I'll pass on that for now. Hmm. Protection ahead of time penalty doesn't really matter since it is coming to the new weapons anyway. Uh, we'll grab a land doctrine bonus. Oh my god, that tank's going down fast. What was it made of? Paper? Apparently. Can we cut them off? Yes. Australia capitulated! Huzzah! Oh, it feels so good. That said, now we've done that, we kind of have to do uh, New Zealand. I mean, it's a sad, sad state of affairs, but we can't let uh, New Zealand stand. Not, not when we have Australia. We need to have the two rugby teams face off in our own, like, Country's Rugby Cup. Are you just doing nothing at the moment? Sort of. Right, you. Is it time to invade yet? Japan are pushing you back. <sighs> sure, we'll start drawing up invasion plans. It won't be the most interesting invasion ever. Give you invasion plans, and your invasion plans are to grab up here. You know what? Let's actually give them a few more units each. That's actually okay. Nine, nine and eight is a, is a decent number. Right, what does that leave us with down here? Fifteen units. I don't need quite so many for an invasion of New Zealand. Eight. There we go. Wait, wait. Pit of Australia still lives. That's not allowed. I don't have words about that. There we go. And what remains of the once proud unit? Motorized. Actually, I'd like motorized to get up here. We'll use a garrison order. Fine. Who remains down here? That's seven. Your new order is to invade Tasmania. It's just not good enough allowing Tasmania to live. Meanwhile, you are doing stuff. Oh, hello, people who are not doing stuff. If 
You could all kindly travel over here and then actually try to hear. Ah, for God's sake. There we go. That way you'll be ready to invade when the time comes. Oh, uh, dear. This is going to be a lot of moving people around. And we've free factories again. Do we want to go for a navy, though? I kind of feel that we still need to keep going for our navy. Even though I know it would be great to get more military factories, we kind of need the navy. Navy's everywhere down here as well. Um, and I think we're good with our seawall, actually. So let's stop building the seawall. You know what? We don't actually need so many civilian factories either. Let's convert. go. A few more. Because we, We're producing like so much uh, civilian stuff at the moment. We really don't need to. This is one of the few times I'll actually be switching between industries. Normally I just build them as I want them. But I will actually be switching over here. That'll do. Don't do too many. Much hard to switch back. Oh, hello. Ooh, that reminds me. Do we have our submarines out? We do in. Ooh, hello. They've got their destroyers out. Yeah. They know we're here. Yeah, our submarines are getting massacred. I really want to pull them out of there. We need to send out our own fleet and clear the sea. No, just leave. Run away. Escape. 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 I think they were killed. Okay. Um... I didn't go so well. Also, we still don't have any uh, naval aircraft. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. We, we can't take a naval battle right now about any aircraft. Constant industry. Lovely. Um, we can't go Nav 2. Let's get Nav Bombers 1 from uh, Carriers, just for now. Just to hold the line. Oh! The Australian Navy. Consists of a dinghy and a large knife. Okay, everyone's moving. Keep pushing through there. The invasion is ready to go. Just need a few more weeks. Two weeks, I think. Elastic defense, lovely. Ah, I don't want to go blitzkrieg on mobile infantry. I don't normally always go mobile infantry just because this gives me... Where is it? Plus 10 organization to all infantry. Which is great. It's a really nice bonus. Uh, the downside, of course, is you're missing out on... Oh, look, breakthrough plus 20 on tanks, etc. Um, which, if we go tank heavy... Not a bad thing. I mean, we do have a lot of industry. We could go tank heavy. We could just start switching over to, like, having mechanized units with a few tanks installed. Might be an interesting combination. Ooh, it's tempting. It's very tempting. I think this side is still better, because it gives me bonuses to mechanized and motorized, though. Which, even if we did do a mixed tank infantry thing, the infantry would be mechanized or motorized. Which we'd still get bonuses for here. Tanks, you only need a few of. Dear God, it's going to take me a long time. But we need to keep going down that tree. 
because it's going to take me a very long time to get the bomb. And I need to get to the bomb because I need that bonus. Plus 5% population. Now, I could change my conscription laws, but that would have a side effect of being absolutely terrible. Ooh, did we ever tell the military police that they should probably also garrison here? No. No, we did not. I'll tell them garrison there as well. They're going to love this. Please also garrison the entire of Australia. And the Philippines. And Borneo. And the list keeps on growing. There we go. So they do seem to be pretty good at concentrating the most important provinces. No, wait. Territories. Provinces. States. Unformed states. It's easier that way. Okay. Almost ready to do our invasions. Just a couple of days in some cases. I think maybe a week or so in others. Fighter 2. Lovely. Let's get the carrier variant. And... Switch you to carrier. Uh, fighter 2, sorry. Beautiful. We can actually start having an air force. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Meanwhile, Germany is still not doing great. In fact, France has punched past the Maginot line. Germany has lost a lot more provinces. Not massively loads, but enough that uh, I am very... I would say fearful, actually, but I wasn't going to... I'm not actually afraid. They still haven't, like, attacked Denmark, let alone Norway or whatever. Like, oh, man, this is this is a complete flip of the last series we did where, like, the Axis dominated. This is just, yeah, Axis suck. Okay. Well, the invasion is ready. we also got a load of reserves ready and waiting to uh, go. And we've got a couple more invasions down here. This is going to be interesting. And we're still holding off the Allies' attacks over here. But we did lose our entire submarine flotilla. And I'm not sending this one out until we've got some form of naval support. That said, if we do naval support around here, there is a risk that the home fleet might come across and they could mix us. If they just send a portion, however, we might be okay. My, my hope is that they will be kept over here by the fact that there is still a Germany alive and that they will probably keep most of their forces around here to try and blockade and stuff. But I've been Listening. If you enjoyed, please do like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, just remember to stay shiny.